So tell us about how you actually started the website, because I remember when I did that that panel with you last year, AVN, um, your story kind of about how you created many vids and where it came from was pretty cool. Oh, cool. Yeah, absolutely. So I was a cam girl for three years full time, and I'm really bad with technology. And at the time when I was camming, if I wanted to send a video to one of my members, the way it would work is the member would tip me on the cam site. Then I would have to take a pen and a paper and write down like his email address and which videos did he tip for. And once I would log off from camming, then I would spend like half an hour or an hour sending videos to all of those fans that tipped. And I felt it was so inefficient. Yeah. And I thought there has to be a better way of doing this. And that's kind of how the idea came about. And um, so said, who's at the time, my really good friend, he's Mm -hmm. now the CEO of many vids and my boyfriend, he tells me that he could help me get this done. I tell him a little bit more about ideas that I have. And we decide to launch uh, him and me, many uh, Mm bellfrench.com. And bellfrench.com was like a very mini, many vids. We just wanted to test it out and see like if it would work, which it did. So I would take care of that website myself. It was a templated website. It was easy. I just would put pictures, add the videos, and he would help me find a place to host my videos. Mm -hmm. And then people like my fans just started to buy videos that way. So I would start making sales while I'm sleeping and while I'm on cam, I didn't have to take all those emails and send, send them after. And I tell him, why don't we create something like this, but for a community and there, there has to be other girls like me out there that are having a hard time sending videos. And Mm -hmm. then what about the dirty panties we send all the time? Like, what about the dirty panties? Let's talk about it. Let's talk about (laughs) the, and to be fair, uh, I totally get it. I have auctioned off wardrobe from shoots and those things are a gold mine oh it's so much fun yeah yeah and it's just so then it was the same issue someone tips for a panty but then they would ask like what type of panties do you have can i see pictures and then it was how long did you wear it for were you ovulating at the time (laughs) and then it's like all the options can you send a picture with those panties yeah whatever the address and so we decided like Okay, BellaFrench.com is working. Let's do this for more people, more models. Let's test it out. He talks to his best friend, Gino. He's really good with coding. He's been coding for years for like banks and major companies. So we come to three of us part-time. Sed is finishing coding school. Gino's working and I'm camming full-time. And we just have six months of putting things together. And then we launched a beta version of many vids. That was like end of November 2013. And we officially launched uh, in end of March, beginning of April 2014. Mm -hmm. And that's been like five and a half years ago. And now it's like we're the number one clip site in the world. We're the fastest growing community in the world. And it's just been this freaking crazy journey. <laughs> Did you ever expect that it was going to do so well? I was actually hoping for it. I remember talking to our first team member that joined the company and I told him this is going to become the number one clip site in the world. But you know, when you say things, you don't actually always believe it's going to happen. Yeah. So- When it actually did, I was like, oh, my God, this is so (laughs) cool. This is cool. Yeah. And I think the reason why it became popular is because I was a cam girl. I understand models and all the decisions we take are towards making our models happy first and foremost. So I I feel like they probably saw that and understood it and Mm -hmm. we're just there to, to serve them. Yeah. How did you get the word out about um, many vids? Like, how did you get people to to sign on? Because I guess at the time, the biggest one was what? Clips for Sale, right? Clips for Sale was which, huge. Which, by the way, I tried to do a Clips for Sale website. No offense to Clips for Sale, but their interface is dog shit. I could not understand it. It was so f-ing confusing. And I talked to a lot of people who were like, if you don't, ha- so have whatever intrinsic understanding of Clips for Sale, then like... And you can make a lot of money on it if you know how to work the system. But if you don't, like me, you know, you won't make anything. And it was just like I could not, could not figure that website out. 
I never tried to work with Clips for Sale or upload anything there. I was not fully aware that it existed. I had seen it here and there, but I felt it was more for the f- community. Yeah. I mean, if you want to see what weird f- there are out there, just go to Clips for Sale and look at like the categories yeah. and it'll look, blow your mind. It's fun, fun stuff. So bizarre. <laughs> Hey guys, if you want to support my show, then you should think about joining my Patreon. At my Patreon, I offer all kinds of amazing perks in exchange for your financial support. From live streams of my interviews as they are happening, to bonus Q and A's, behind the scenes photos and videos of my shoots, plus cool merch like stickers, mugs, and hoodies, we have you covered. So go to patreon.com slash hollyrandallunfiltered, and while you're at it, make sure that you click that subscribe button so you don't miss a single one of my new updates.